so hello uh, good evening good afternoon all so in this video i am going to explain how you can uh, do the socket client pro socket programming in python uh, basically it is also called as uh, server client program so for that uh, i am going to use the jupyter lab uh, but you can use any uh, platform for uh, running the python code uh, but i am comfortable with uh, jupyter lab so i am doing that you can use pycharm you can use python uh, ide also so let me just open the lab here so uh, before the lab opens so let me explain something that what is a socket programming or what is the server client program so basically whenever there is communication happens between two systems or communication happens uh, in the through the internet so there is a concept that there should be a server server and there should be a client and the server that is created so that can be connected to multiple clients so when the client want to uh, talk to the server they can send a request and send messages or else if the client wants to communicate with another client then they can connect through them through the server now the thing is that uh, in a system in a um, like institute or organization there are so many computers will be there so many systems will be there so how do the system communicate with each other so the idea is that there should be a server and which come uh, which connect to the all the clients and then the clients can communicate with the server as well as with each other also so for this we need two programs here one is your server program one is your client program so first of all i'll uh, do this in the local system my means my the same system will work as a client same system will work as a server then after that i will show that how you can um, uh, use your mobile also uh, for a client programming so first of all we'll start with the notebook that i will open the python 3 so this is a notebook and i'll just rename this uh, this uh, to server so here i am going to write the server program so server name is already there so let me just write it server test so you can take any name here okay so now here we need to write the program to create a server so for that we need to import one library from the python so to import that i'll write import socket so socket is the library that is used to create the server or you any kind of socket communication you want you need to import this library so after this what i need to do i need to create an object in the socket so which object is going to be working as a server for me so for server side i'll keep it simple and give a name as s which is equals to socket dot socket so what it will do it will create a server for me which is whose name is s okay so uh, to know what is happening inside the program so what i'll do i'll just print this print one message here message is server created okay now once the server is created basically systems communicate to each other with a address and that that address is nothing but your um, ip address okay so here uh, for, the, for the first instance i am not going to use the ip address i am going to use something called local host so local host is basically uh, will be created by this server and the local host ip by default it is taken as your uh, 127.0.0.1 but first let us try with uh, your uh, local host and then we'll try with the server uh, ip address okay so for local host uh, what i need to do first of all server is created here we have printed that server is created and then we need to bind that server or we need to associate that server with a particular ip address and a port number okay so for that what you need to do there is a function called s dot bind okay so s dot bind what it will do it will try to bind one uh, ip address to the server so for that i need to write here the ip address so you can if you know the ip address then you can type it here or else you can just write local host so local host is the default uh, uh, server that will be created here and i'll give a comma and then we have to write the something called port number so i'll write 9992 so you can take this port number anything between 0 to 65000 uh, uh, that many server uh, port is available for windows systems so basically what is a port port is a system that is used to communicate through the to system to system so port is an important factor here so this socket uh, you can take anything you want so uh, that is uh, user dependent 
but there are some circuits which are reserved uh, reserved for windows like uh, port number uh, port number 80 so that is generally used for communication with uh, uh, your internet so there for that purpose it's safe side to take some socket which is above 4000 so generally that sockets are free and not uh, that ports are free and not used okay so now as uh, est we have added one uh, local host and the port number to the server next what do we need to do we need to define that the server has to listen to the client then only it will uh, receive the request of uh, being connected so for that we need to do s dot listen okay s dot listen what it will do it will now ready to accept the communication from the clients so with this i'll write here 3 so 3 4 what 5 whatever you want to uh, uh, you want you can write and what is it basically it is defined that how many clients can be connected to this server we can limit that if the fourth client comes to connect then it will simply refuse it it, can, it cannot be connected okay so a dot listen will do that part next uh, as our uh, system is ready to receive uh, some socket communication so i will print here uh, some message that waiting for communication waiting for connection so okay so waiting for connection means now i am just printing one message waiting for connection because when this a dot listen uh, will be executed then it will ready to accept the connection so this print message is just to know that exactly at which position my program is there okay after this a dot listen is there when the uh, so uh, client uh, request for connection then it has to accept the connection right so for that what we need to do so there is something called s dot accept so now it will accept the connection so this accept function generally returns two values one is the address one is the port number basically the address of the client so for that i will assign two variables to this to store that uh, which will be used later so i'll write c comma address so what is this uh, addrs so what is this c here so basically for client side i am taking as c you can take it anything it is a user defined thing okay and once this accept is done so we'll just print the address so you can print c comma address you can see what now uh, what what is being uh, connected to this device so it will just print c comma address now this side what we have done we have created a socket here and then we have uh, started the uh, function that will try it will ready to uh, get connected and then c comma address e uh, sorry equals to equals to s dot accept so it will now accept the client connection and once it is accepted then it will print so this is the part of the server we are doing and after that we need to do one more program which is client which will behave as a client here so i will create a new python file here and i will name this as client so i am just naming it because it will be easy to uh, know which program i am running so in the client programming also we have to do the similar do the similar thing as at the server test here i have done it so in client what do we need to do first we have to import the socket because it's a socket communication so we'll import socket and then we'll create one object here and the object name i'll give as c okay so c equals to socket dot socket so now one socket is created and it has to work as a client so you can see in the server test we have done the same thing we have done the same thing and uh, it, we have uh, bind this uh, we have bounded this or associated this uh, server with a local host and ip uh, port number but here we are not going to bind because it is going to work as a client but what we are going to do we need to connect that to the server so for that i need to write c dot connect so c is the object that i have created for the client and now i will try to connect that to the server side so c dot connect is a function and here so uh, and here i need to write the ip address so that we have taken the local host if you know the ip address you can write that also i'll try to give an example with that and comma so the port number you have to give the same port number that is given here so 9992 you can take anything else also make sure that is free from the windows so 9992 okay now what happened now it uh, uh, c dot connect it is sending a request for the connection and after that we need to close this connection also so it's very important you close this connection otherwise uh, next time when you run the code it might be a pro error there so that's it from the uh, uh, client side okay and here from the server side also we need to close this connection so i'll write c dot 
close okay so now let us run this code so see one error is coming what is that bind takes exactly one argument and two is given okay so here you see in the bind so i have uh, passed two variables here one is local host and one is port number and it is saying it can take one argument here so to make that as a one argument i'll just uh, put one bracket here so now it will behave as a tuple and tuple it will take as a one argument we need to do the same change here also uh, i need to make it a tuple here okay okay so i have uh, made it two sides so that it will be uh, easy to understand so now i am running the server side again so see i am running the server side so it is server is created and waiting for connection so once it is ready for connection we will go to the client side and here i'll run this client so what it will do it will try to connect to this server local host okay so see here uh, connection is done and it is printing the address here as well Uh, so to make it clear we'll just print only the address and will not print the whole thing whole uh, name of that so again i'll run it again for that okay and uh, here i'll run it again so now you can see it is printing the address of the client which is 127.0.0.1 and 53538 that is the port assigned to this client and the port assigned to the local host is 9992 okay so now uh, i means our program is ready for a client and a server program is program the client is connected to the server and the address is here next what we are going to do we are going to send some message to the server so how to do that so first of all i need to define one message so you can give a string or else i am going to take a runtime input so for that i'll write input and some message your enter your message i'll write okay so the message is there and then i need to send this message how to do that c dot send okay and i need to send this message uh, as a variable okay and uh, so there is a problem with this you cannot directly send this you have to encode this and you have to send this as a bytes okay message comma and uh, i'll write here uh, u ut f hyphen h so that is a protocol used to encode the message and i will close the bracket here and in the server side what we need to do before we close it we need to receive that message that is sent by the client okay okay for here i need to close uh, close this after the after i send the message if i close it before then it will not send the message okay so here before close i need to do i need to receive that so i'll just uh, take some variable receive received message i'll write on variable that is equals to i am receiving from where i am receiving from c dot receive and in bracket i'll write 1024 as it is sending bytes so i am receiving how many bytes it is going to receive and then i'll just print the received message okay so received message okay now what we have done we are sending one message here that will be runtime input and after it sends here it will receive the message after that it will close it close the connection and it will also close the connection now let us run it again here so you can see now it is server is created and waiting for connection and here we will run the client program now in the client program if i run it is asking me enter your message so i'll write hi there so okay so byte is not defined sorry it's bytes not byte i'll run it again hi there so what happen it is receiving message it is printing but uh, it is uh, okay comes as a this one i have to run this again and i have to run this again here i'll type something okay so i'll try to uh, send this message directly instead of uh, um, making it a variable some problem is there i'll find it out 
so i'll write there uh, one string as a message i there i am client okay now let us run this program again server is created and i am sending the client so see hi there i am a client now here we see b is coming b colon something is coming so why it is coming this is a format that is being received so to avoid that what you can do so here you can write decode so encoded message is in bytes and you can just write decode here so it will decode the message and this b will be not there so we'll run it again and here i will run it again so see now it is printing hi there i am client uh, okay so like this you can uh, send your message from server to client okay now uh, let us try to send some uh, user defined message here so problem was that here i have not decoded so that's why it is not printing so okay the server is running now i'll run the client here and i'll type some message hi there i am client okay and uh, if i hit enter so it is printing hi there i am i am client so in this way you can make a chatbot also from here you can send and here you can uh, receive the message for that i can use a while loop and uh, this is how you can do a socket program programming and uh, in the next uh, part of this video i will just explain that how you can uh, use the ip address here and how you can connect your use your mobile as a client so that you can send message from mobile to this uh, server so for this video the we'll stop here okay so thank you very much and uh, see the next video for uh, i will be explaining there how you can connect your mobile as a client and how you can run python in your mobile so thank you have a good day